<laughs> need to add some grease on that garage door. What's up, everybody? You know what? All right, so this is crazy. All right, not that long ago, I got 10,000 subscribers, and I told you guys that I was going to do something with my cap bank. <gasps> Looks like my camera needs a little cleaning. Well, I never got the chance to do that, but guess what? I don't know how, but you guys have made this a 20,000 subscriber channel. That's ridiculous! Freaking awesome! So you know what? It's my turn to give back. I told you guys I was going to do something. I let you guys post comments. And this is what I've come up with. This is the rail gun. Made out of, ha uh, I guess that's one inch polycarbonate or actually I think it's plexiglass. You can see I've been shooting it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm going to give you guys this. 20,000 subscribers. That's ridiculous. So thank you guys for, uh, for subscribing to me. And uh, hopefully there will be some more fun and interesting videos coming up. It's been kind of slow. And you know what? That's life. It's got its ups. It's got its downs. It's got its interestings. But uh, uh, the sign actually fell off on the last shot I did. So... You guys left a bunch of comments, and, um, well, this is kind of one that was popular and also one that i really been wanting to do. Now, I was going to, uh, I was going to use, let's see if I can find them. I don't know where they are. Now, I was going to use BBs as my railgun uh, shot, but I've decided to um, use point, uh, six, point two six of an inch steel balls. Um, so these steel balls are actually ball bearings. I don't know where they are. I lost them. But anyway, um, yeah, here's here's what's left of them. They were nice and, and nice and shiny. I thought I had them over here, but now I don't see them. Anyway, no big deal. I've got a few left in a bag. Oh, you know what? I know where they are. I want to show you what they look like because it's pretty crazy. Right here. There they are. This is all I got left. So these are uh, almost quarter inch um, steel ball bearings. All right, and uh, we we have been experimenting. So let's get this show on the road. Just want to say, awesome, twenty thousand subscribers. It's been an interesting ride. You know, a lot of people uh, a lot of people think this. Uh, Running a, a YouTube channel that's, uh, you know, even a little bit popular. People are interested in what you're doing and stuff. It can be a challenge. You've got your highs, you've got your lows, you've got all sorts of crazy stuff. So, you know what? We haven't spun in the new shops. So let's do that. Are you ready? Let's see if I can do this. Alright guys, I uh, created a rail gun, or tried, I don't know if it works yet, I thought I'd tape it because if it works, cool, uh, if it blows up, then you'll get to see it, so uh, here it is, this is my capacitor bank, these are um, 330 volt, 120 microfarad capacitors out of flash cameras, you see it photo flash on there, um, a whole bunch of them and uh, this is my rail um, contains two pieces of uh, aluminum plexiglass on top and bottom and uh, it's bolted together with uh, my positive and negative terminals on the end all right guys I'm ready got my safety goggles on here we go firing three two one Ooh piece of copper three two one fire some shots of it before I go into trial mode so far that looks pretty clean 
We're about to find out what happens. That sucker's melted down. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Um. Okay. Well. Looks like it didn't make it very far, huh? It melted my styrofoam something crazy. Well, that was interesting. Let's just try it again. Fire number two. This time, maybe we'll actually get it in the uh, in the rail gun. All right, that's about 530 volts. down now. Did we get a shot? No, we didn't get a shot. But it knocked over the stuff over here. It shot. I guess it didn't shoot anything, but it, um, it, uh, was just a concussion. Alright, shot two just decided to blow even a bigger hole in the aluminum. <laughs> so, the third option we have here is connect a relay, put the ammunition in the rail, and then fire it. in there this time. Probably melted ever before it got out. Probably just melted. It's black all the way through there. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get it out. Safety. Did we actually shoot one? Or what happened there? I do not see a ball. All I see is a bunch of fire. <laughs> okay. 
Sorry, is it in here? There it is. It's in there. It didn't make it down the rail. It almost made it down the rail. Let's see. We'll just do it again until that sucker makes it down the rail. I'll get a uh, get a full shot here too, so we can see it. Good. We will get one of these out the end of that rail. 500 volts. Fires on. Oh, let go again. Come on. Get one out. Three, two, one, shoot. There we go. Did it go? Shoot. Oh. I think that was a winner. I just don't think it went straight. <laughs> It's hot still. And it's oh man, it hit the wall hard or something because it's actually flattened on one side. Let's see if we can see that one. It's hard to see, but it's actually kind of flattened on on one side. Yay! We shot the railgun. Now let's try to hit the styrofoam. All right, well, there's what my rail gun looks like now. It's a bit charred, just a little bit. styrofoam particles have been definitely making it down the rail <laughs> oh man see anything. I saw the ball go back there. Wow.
All right, <clears throat> I've taken this apart because I want to see what's going on here. Man, that, this uh, Lexan looking pretty clean, considering the uh, kind of stuff that I'm putting into it. So as you can see, my rails are a little deformed, just a little bit. So I'm gonna try to move them together a little bit more so I can get some contact. See what happens. I'd say that worked. Well, indeed, I was correct. It did make it through. And here's what's left of it. It rolled into a, to a nice little kind of a oblong looking thing. Alright, well, I don't have as much time as I'd like to have today. I'm here on my day off and uh, setting up some of these experiments. Um, the rail gun, uh, I'm officially, at this moment in time, done with it for, for now. Um, I will show you uh, some of my ammunition that actually went through. This is the only one that actually made it all the way through. And you can see as it, as it went through and came out the other end, it, uh, it's quite nice looking actually it's pretty flat compared to the other ones um, let's grab a brand new one so that you can compare the size difference so a lot of these actually got bigger all right so check that out that one actually got bigger but you know as you can see that one stayed just under the same size so Anyway, that's it with the rail gun. Now I'm going to do another experiment, so I'll put that one. Uh, let's see, I'm going to put that one in another video. So that's it. 20,000 subscribers. And it's a different day, so I'm in a different outfit. That's awesome. I just can't thank you guys enough for subscribing and wanting to hang out and watch some more of my videos. I got a lot of different content. I know a lot of you are interested in some things and not others, but uh, that's why it's my channel. Um, I play what I like, I play what I make. And uh, it's a time-consuming uh, hobby, if you want to call it that. So, that's it. Russ out. Railgun experiment successful, <clears throat> but not very repeatable. I need a different air injection. A lot of times you can use like an air injection system on this to uh, shoot the uh, projectile into the rails and then projectile it, or make it just basically speed it up through the electromagnetic railgun. Um, but... I'm just using this roll-in, which doesn't seem to work very well. Plus, my rails, as you saw, are pretty burned, and uh, they're about shot. I have I have another set of these, but it's pretty pretty rough in there. All right, peace and love, guys. Thank you so much for uh, for hanging out with the uh, RWG research, quantum gravity research, interesting, crazy stuff going on here. All right, peace.
Where's my uh, 26 caliber? <laughs> Thing of a jig. I got more up in another one. We're gonna go full power first shot. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. So this is going to be on. That's on. That's going to give me that voltage. Um, I can turn this on. All right. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Is this the best way to bring in the new year? Well, hopefully. Something similar anyway. Alright. Turn that on. Put this on. One loud bang. That's what's going to happen here. Everything's going to go flying, I'm sure. We are recording over there. Right? Yep, as long as it doesn't crash and burn. Otherwise, the camera footage is all I have. I'm sure since I have all these cords right next to the thing, it's going to lock up, but especially this camera. All right. Fire in the hole. Charging up. This is almost silly. All right, there's 500 volts. I'm going to turn this power off. All right, and here we go. And this power. Here we go, fire in the hole. Dang, that was bright. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. I don't think it went anywhere. I think it's stuck. Hmm. Well, I don't know where it is. Is my camera still rolling? My cameras are still rolling. Good. Fire number two. This time maybe we'll actually get it in the uh, in the rail gun. All right, that's about 530 volts. Fire in a hole. Don't look at it this time, Russ. Oh. <laughs> All right, safety off. Discharge. Hope it works. I say you want to just try it again? I say we just try it again. Actually, that looks pretty good right there. All right, we're just going to try it again. God, it's loud. <laughs> you need an injector. I know. I'm going to have to make one. You hate DQ. DQ. Did it shrink the ball down to 20 caliber? Um, it did some damage to it. That's for sure. All right, shot three. One of these is gonna make it. All right, shot three. Golly, that's loud. Let's turn everything back on. Safety on. Charging. 
I might hold my ears this time. It's pretty loud. Is my camera still rolling? Yeah, it's still rolling. All right. All right. We're there. Fire in the hole. Three, two, one, go. Did we do it? <laughs> Discharge. Wait for my voltage to go down. All right. Let's see what happens. Number four. Still rolling? I'll pause it and start it over. All right, number four. Here we go. Turn everything back on. We're at about 500 volts, by the way, which is not 10,000 joules. It's a little less. Okay. Fire in the hole. Three, two, one. Going. Oh, it's on fire. Hey. <laughs> oh, man. Let's back up. My styrofoam is actually on fire. That was great. Everything still looks good. We will get one of these out the end of that rail. We just have to break the rail in. <laughs> Power on. Power on. Safety on. All right, 400 volts. Five hundred volts. Fire in the hole. Oh, here we go again. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's just do it again. Why? Because. It's fine. <laughs> My railgun shoots sparks quite nicely. Doesn't necessarily shoot objects very far yet. All right, power off. Power off. Fire and hole. Three, two, one, shoot. There we go. Did it go? Discharging. This will be possibly the last shot if we can hit styrofoam because I'm making one heck of a lot of noise. This is great. This is just great. Interesting, great, fun air. Okay. We're good. Fire in the hole. Uh-oh. Safety on. Safety waiting for that air to quit run. The thing pulls air upstairs, I believe. It's bad design. I just farted too. So you know. Alright, we'll do it anyway. There we go. Power on. Ooh, that fart stinks. It might blow up. Fire in the hole. 500 volts, 530. I'm charging through a resistor and it's charging through that resistor. So it's actually a 
heater block from my air conditioner heater unit. The one I never hooked up yet. All right, there we go. Power off, power off, a fire and all. Oh yeah, that one shot. I think. Go open that door. <laughs> I like what I see. Power on. Charge on. Fire. Come on. Rail gun, do your job. <laughs> charge off I swear that thing it appears as it's going through but it just it's not making it alright peace and love you guys I gotta go it's New Year's Eve so happy New Year to you by the way I'm filming this early. I'm not quite to 20,000, but I'm awfully close. Peace out.